Hi everyone, it's Sandra from Sandra Bianco Photography, and today I want to show you how I would edit this image using the new Portrait Retouch Collection by Greater Than Gatsby and myself. So here we go. The very first thing I would do is just grab my spot healing tool and clean up the image just a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this little piece of hair here to start. And then I'll just go ahead and clean up her skin a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and run Flawless Blend on this and I will show you how nice it will blend all this together and also soften her skin so you really won't see any of these little blemishes. But I like to take care of the few that are just standing out first is always helpful. And there's just a few little ones over here. Okay, so once I'm done with the majority of that, I'm gonna go ahead and run Flawless Blend. And once this opens, I'm gonna go ahead and stay on my Flawless Blend layer, which is defaulted for when it opens. I'm gonna grab my lasso tool, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start making a selection. I like to start on the forehead and go down the nose. I'm gonna hit Q, go down to Filter, blur and Gaussian blur and you want to set this to where it just starts to feather out a little bit like that so if I was to take this all the way to the left you can see that's a much harder edge which I don't want so I want to go ahead and take that up till it just starts to feather out a little bit right there it looks good so once I I can hit OK and I'm going to go into Q filter and Gaussian blur again so you can see what that did if I click on and click off now I'm gonna go ahead and go around the rest of her face. So once I have my pixel set, I don't need to keep doing that step over. So I just hit Q, I'm going to filter Gaussian blur, Q, filter, and Gaussian blur. And again on this side. And we'll go over her chin a bit as well. Okay, and then I'm also going to go ahead and go down her arm a little. And that'll just get rid of a little bit of that blotchiness. And then let me step this back a little bit so you could just see what that did. So if I click on and off, you can see there what that did. It's just evening out the tones and getting rid of all those little flaws. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into flawless clone and with this I like to keep my flow anywhere from like 20 to 25 percent so I'm at 20 I'll just go ahead and leave it there and I just want to grab a nice tone underneath where I want to correct and I'm just going to softly go over some of these little areas and I'll take those right away Clean up her chin just a little bit more. Okay, so once I'm through with that, I'm just going to go ahead and flatten this. And we're going to go into our skin softening details. Now, here you have your skin tone correctors. I usually do that more towards the end of my image, so we'll go back to that in a little bit because I can already tell she's got some color cast going on here, but it's just going to enhance as I go along with my edit, the way that I edit. So I'm just going to go into Natural Beauty Smoother, I'm going to go ahead and blow this up, and I'll just get my brush a little bit bigger and start, I'm putting this on at 100% and then I can reduce it. And this I love because it still leaves a bit of texture on the skin and also smooths it.
And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of this on a lower opacity down on her neck and down her arm a little. Okay, and so you can see what that did. It like brightened her up and just made her skin nice and smooth. And I can take that down. I feel like it's a little bit too much. Just go ahead and take it down because the flawless blend really, the flawless skin really makes it um, soften the skin and give it that neutral, um, pretty even tone. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and flatten this. And then we are gonna go down into our skin tone palette. And I am gonna go ahead and select something very similar to her skin already. So I'm gonna choose golden. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this at 100%. And I'm gonna, I will go back and mask this off of her eyes in a minute. I like to just get it on there and then mask off where I need to. Okay, so that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and mask this off of her eyes. So I'm just grabbing my black brush. And you can see what that's doing there. And I'm gonna go ahead and reduce my opacity a little. I'm gonna go ahead and flatten that. And then we're gonna go down into rosy cheeks. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with something very neutral. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose Peachy Keen. So you can see there what that did. I click on and off and I'll go ahead and reduce my opacity a little. And then I'm gonna go ahead and flatten this. I just flatten, that's just my personal workflow. I flatten often. I'm gonna go ahead and go down into Soft Glow Warm. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this onto my subject. You can even paint this on the clothing if you wish. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my opacity down a little bit. And you can see there that just gives her a little bit of a warm glow. And then we're going to go down into the Luscious Lips palette. And again, I want to stay with something very similar to what she has on her lips. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Angel. Because I'm just looking to brighten up a tiny bit. She doesn't need much. But I do like to apply this at 100% and then I will reduce my opacity as well. I feel looks the best. So I'm just going to go ahead and reduce that a bit. Let me blow that up so you can see it's very subtle, but it makes a little bit of a difference. Just giving her a teeny bit more color to her lips. Then I'm going to go into Lip Highlight Shine. And I am gonna go over that natural highlight. Now this is gonna go on strong, so I like to take this down quite a bit. Let's say around 30% is good. I may even take it down, and then I'm just gonna go over her natural shine there. Take that down just a little bit more. See that's brightening up her lip a little bit. And I usually just do that to the bottom lip. It's my per personal preference. Her teeth to me are already white, but if you needed to use teeth whitening, that's there as well. And then we're going to go into intensify backlight highlights into the hair enhancers. And I'm just going to get my brush big enough. And we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of enhancement to the highlights that are already there. You can see there what that did. And I might take that down just a little. Okay, and then we are gonna go into Paint Me Pretty. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply this at 100% all over my subject. If I click on and off, you can see it's really giving her 
like really pretty warmth and glow. I'm gonna go ahead and take my opacity down a little. And then I'm gonna go into Sharpen the Everything. And that just gives a nice sharpen all over. I'll take that down a little. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use Magic Contour Heavy. And I'm just gonna go ahead and paint this more on my subject's face, but I wanna take this down on her arm a little bit as well. So see how that just made her features really stand out? I'm gonna go ahead and take that down a little. And I'll go ahead and flatten that. We're gonna go back up into our all over eye foundations. Sometimes I do this last only because um, I like to see what everything else that I'm doing first if I need extra enhancement of the eye. So I am gonna go ahead and enhance our eyes a little bit more. I'm gonna go into the all over eye foundation first. And we'll go ahead and just paint that inside of her eyeball and you can see what a big difference that made. And she's got really pretty light coming into her eyes, so she doesn't need a whole lot. I'm gonna go ahead and flatten this. Then we're gonna go into the all-in-one enhancers and I'm gonna go into brighten iris color. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my brush down to about 50% for this. And just paint that on her eyeballs. Go ahead and take my opacity down a little. Then we're gonna go ahead and darken the outer rim. I put my opacity on 100% for this. So I'm just going over, this is really gonna make her eyes stand out more. And you can even take your opacity up a little bit. And then Iris Catch Light. She doesn't really need too much. But I'll go ahead and put this on at about 30%. And I just want to go over the catch lights there. Okay, so let's go ahead and flatten that. And then I'm going to go into Define the Eyes. I'm just going to go over those, and I like to take my opacity up to about 100% there, because I like a really tack sharp eye. I mean, her eyes are sharp as it is, but adding extra sharpening just makes them that more, um, makes them stand out that much more. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and flatten that. And now we're going to go into our fine art finishes, and I'm going to go ahead and use Ravishing. So you can see what that does to the overall image, which makes it really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and reduce my opacity a little. And then I'm also going to go up to Glamorous. And I'm going to go ahead and reduce my opacity. Just to give her a little bit more definition. And I'm going to go ahead and flatten that. And then I'm gonna go into Dodge the Highlights and Burn the Shadows. So we'll go to Dodge the Highlights first. And I like to stay on my midtones. Um, around 6% is good. You could even go lower than that if you'd like. But I just wanna add a little bit of dodging to the tip of her nose. Maybe just draw a line down her nose a little. Sometimes I'll just go into the corners of her eyes. This is really hard to um, transfer on video, but when I do the click on and off, you'll be able to see it a little bit more. And then I'm just going to take a little bit into the middle of her forehead. And I also like to go on the brow bone a little. So you can see there what I did. 
And now we're going to go into Burn the Shadows. And I'm going to go ahead and take my opacity down to about four for this. And I want to go ahead and enhance our smile lines a little bit. And I like to go under the lip. So that just gives the illusion of a little bit of a, a fuller lip. Go in the middle of her uh, cubie's bow. And then I'm going to go ahead and go around her hairline a little bit. Down her chin. And then anywhere where there's a shadow, this is great for just enhancing that a bit more. So I did this very subtle on this particular image. I just don't feel like she needs a whole lot. But you can see what a difference that makes. Just brings her face together just a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and flatten this. And then I'm going to go ahead and run Picture Perfect Polish. And I'm going to go ahead and reduce my opacity. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and flatten this. And then I'm going to go back up into my color characters. And I'm going to go to Ransack the Reds. I'm going to take this off a bit here. Let's go and bring our brush up a little bit more. And I'm going to go ahead and reduce my opacity. And then I'm also going to go under her chin a little here. And I'm also going to go into obliterate the oranges. And I'm going to do the same thing under her chin. See how that's getting a little bit too muddy looking? I'm just going to go ahead and reduce my opacity to where it blends out a little bit better. And I can also take a little bit of red off here. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our before and after. So this is before and this is after. Before and after. And that's just using the portrait retouch, so I didn't really do it edit on this as far as the background goes. I really just wanted to get my skin and get that brightness and from here I would do it the rest of my editing. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please check back for more videos and if you'd like to purchase this set please visit greaterthangatsby.com and again it's the Portrait Retouch Collection. Thanks everyone. Bye.